What up? This is I from Ask I Solar. Let's compare the Renergy 100 watt solar panel to the HQST 100 watt solar panel. Let's go. So one of the benefits of having a semi EcoFlow back is I have two MC4 cables. Shout out to EcoFlow for that. So I'm going to hit both of them up to both of their panels and kind of be able to switch them instantly. I'll tell you what, man, it hurts unplugging these from solar. I'm so like, you saw I had 126 watts coming in and that, that hurts, but I got to do it. I got to do it for science. Ain't no sense in wasting this power. This dip takes the same port as my, uh, whatchamacallum. It is getting 30 watts. So we're going to put it on the 200 watt panel setup. I mean, it's only going to be 100 watts, but 100 watts is better than 50. Oh, I hate disconnecting stuff, but I'm going to do it for y'all. All right, I hear people talk about these panels being out in the heat for the same amount of time. That is the case. So I have to warn you that once I bring this EcoFlow out to the panels, it's going to be hard to read the display. I'll do my best, or you're just going to have to trust me that it says what it says. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to just use their cables, no extensions, because I don't want to introduce any loss into the situation. I'm definitely going to do a flat test. I don't have the proper. I mean, the sun's pretty high in the sky, so a flat test should work out just fine. That looked pretty scientific to me, right? Yeah, I think so. So I imagine that what we're going to deal with is about a 60 watt draw, and then we'll see which one of these pulls the most. So let's go with the uh, Renergy first. 57, 57 watts, 59 watts, 60. All right, this cloud cover is pretty consistent, so I'm gonna switch it out now. Sun got a little hobby Marwan for a second. But it's pretty consistent. Sixty-eight. Okay, the sun's getting a little hot. Um, I'm seeing a fluctuation in the sun power. Sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-four. This is about normal right here. This is what I've been experiencing on the last one, as far as what I can feel just on my skin. So fifty-eight. I can't really, okay, it's getting a little, all right, let's pop the other one in. The sun is getting a little brighter. I want to give this one a chance to experience some of this slightly brighter sun. Mm, it's going back down. This is the Renergy that's plugged in right now. 52, 52, 52. I'm going to give the Renergy a chance to experience some of this brighter sun and see what it does. This is what happens when you try to do something on an overcast day like a weirdo, clownbot.com. But I've been trying to do this video for a while. Okay, sun's getting a little hotter. Come on, sun, come through for a player. 61, 62. There you go, come through, sun. 64, there we go. I feel the sun intensity getting a little hotter. I know one dude, he had like a lumen meat measure. Okay, I feel like it's getting hot now. 73. I, I saw it go as high as 75. And the sun is fluctuating because the cloud cover is changing. Sun's peeking through a little bit, going out a little bit. But here's my thing. This panel costs 80 bucks. This one, I've seen it as low as 89. I think I got it for 103 when this one was up to 90 or something like that. So I was like, for the extra $10, I'll just try out the Renergy panels. And I ended up getting two of them. But I think these things are comparable. I'm going to pop the poly panel on here in a second just to see what it does. Just because, you know, why not? But let's, let's throw this back on here for a second while the sun is kind of fluctuating and see what it does. Okay, I'm seeing 64, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. Yeah, it's getting real bright right now. 82, 75. All right, let's give the energy a chance to shine. 
Oh yeah, it's getting hot right now. It's real hot. Seventy-seven, seventy-nine. All right. I honestly feel like this becomes a matter of preference, like form factor more than anything. These things are too comparable to be saying like one is better than the other one. And when I have them all flat in their respective whatevers, the EB70 down here, it'll be getting like 112 and then the EcoFlow will be getting like 113. So I think you just got to pick which one you like. Um, I'm starting to like these a little more because they're smaller. The surface area is smaller. They're a lighter panel. It's easy for me to grab this one and move it around. It's a little harder for me to move this one around. All right, let's do poly. I'm sorry, guys, but I can't get this thing off of this parallel cable. So I'm just going to have to use the extension. Um, I don't want to, but shh, man. It's banging my nails up. <laughs> Did I do that wrong? Yeah, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong piece. Ah, this is a pain. You know what, charge. Yeah, I gotta do it. Man, I give up. <laughs> I plugged it up wrong. It's in the wrong end. It's in the parallel end. And I'd have to go all the way inside and that's just too much cable, I think, to be a fair comparison. What you can do is you can watch my man's uh, video. I'll post it up in the cards. He did a poly versus mono comparison and they're pretty much the same. So I want to draw the same conclusion here because it's just I can't get these things apart, man. The crazy part is I bought two MC4 tools from Bruges RV and uh, they don't work. So I got to process that return. All right, let's conclude this. Renergy. Boom, buy whatever you want. <laughs> I don't think it makes a difference.